Last yeah. time I was with Ro, he was very nice, so I'm excited to see him again. You had some great chemistry. Now, you're an absolute vision. Can I can I say that? Yeah, thank you. You look amazing. And and like myself, you know, I like to push the, the boundaries of fashion. Will we be expecting something special for your performance tonight? Well, it's very shiny. Shiny? I love shiny. Well, Gaga's coming up next, so don't go anywhere. Lady Gaga got dance floors pumping with her Grammy-nominated mega-hit Just Dance and backed it up with her second single, Poker Face, becoming the first artist in nearly 10 years to debut with consecutive number ones. This musical prodigy learned piano by ear at age four, at 14 was gigging in New York clubs, and at 17 was one of 20 kids in the world to get admission to the prestigious Tisch School of the Arts. She's written songs for the Pussycat Dolls, Fergie and Britney Spears, and now this electrifying exhibitionist and her hand-picked team of creators Natives have been travelling the world fusing her passion for rock, pop and theatre, making crowds go gaga. And now it's our turn. Please welcome Lady Gaga! Hello. I don't know where to look. It's <laughs> from head to toe and from... Just stay somewhere in here. Well and truly up there. We'll be all right. Welcome back. Hi. Very good to see you again. Now, since we last had you on the show, you haven't stopped touring and it's been nearly 12 months. It's been exactly 12 months. I how's, think. how's it all been for you? It's been really amazing. I just am so grateful and I can't believe it. I just played in New Zealand yesterday and 12,000 people were singing my lyrics. That's a whole of New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> are, well they, are they singing it with an accent? I, I, I think so. Just dense. Just dense. <laughs> it was really incredible. Can I you mean, move with that? Is it incredibly restricting? Actually, it's, it's, um, it's sewn directly onto my brain. <laughs> I'm worried we'll have a lightning strike in the studio. a bit like hair Jenga. Like, if I took a bit, <laughs> then I could... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, according... <laughs> I see it, I see it. Look at this. Sit on, the, sit on these hands. On these hands. He can't be trusted. <laughs> As you were, my lady. At least he's not staring at something else. <laughs> Well, I, I can mean, change. I can. I mean, I hope I can. <laughs> if he reaches for that, we can have a restraining order slapped on. Not to not to interject so early in the piece, and not to make you two more uncomfortable than you already are. But I think you ran for the bathroom in your undies earlier on, and Hamish <laughs> was walking in the corridor. Hardly noticed. That's. <laughs> I saw you running bring up before, on TV. I, because I love your outfits, and that one was my favourite. Thank you very much. Well, I had to, you know, I had to be quick. You did. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. So, now, uh, yeah, I, I read, uh, uh, following your little Twitter page, I don't know whether it is actually you or not. We'll find out. But um, <laughs> in Russia, you got in trouble for what you were wearing. Oh, yeah, that is true. What happened? Well, I was really excited because I was, um, I had just done a performance at this incredible, amazing club in the middle of nowhere. And as we were driving back, um, we decided to stop in Red Square. And I said, oh my gosh, the architecture is beautiful. I've got to get a picture. And I still had my outfit on from the show, which is usually not very different from what I wear all the time. So we got out of the car and we went into the center of Red Square and I was having a little photo shoot and all of a sudden these police came out of nowhere and they started to go like this. And I said, I think that means whore in Russian. <laughs> How what many... were you wearing? What were you wearing? I was just wearing like a leather leotard, but I think it was more the, the poses I was doing were kind of funny. <laughs> How many bags... Just backstage, Lady Gaga had so many bags. How many bags did you bring today, just suitcases, because they didn't full fit in your room, they're all out they're in the wardrobe? They're lining the corridor. Um, I don't know. You don't know? But for someone who wears so little, why so many bags? <laughs> Are you suggesting I should wear more? No, no, not at all. Definitely but... not. Can we just make that clear? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Now, that is not um, what do you ever wear pants? Yes, of course I do. But most, for the most part, I don't think I've ever seen you in pants. Is there a reason? Are you, are you, are you not pant curious? Well, I have very nice legs. Oh no, you made me look. 
You actually, wanted it to you, sly you, fox. I brought you a gift, and actually, you're incredibly wrong because I wear pants all the time, and I just started to design pants. <gasps> Can I have a look? Yeah, and I actually, I brought you a pair to wear. You haven't oh. hidden them, uh, yeah. rolled up on <laughs> them. They're, uh, they're no pants. Hey. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, right. Isn't that amazing? They are, are they from the Do you House get of it? Gaga? The no pants. <laughs> yes. I think it's very Andy Warhol. <laughs> Can I, may I have a look? They're for you. They're the Meggings thing. What do you think of, uh, I mean, you're probably into it having made them. But I think you should maybe leggings. wear them. Should I put them on now? I think you should. I tell you what, no, no, what I'll do is during, during the break, when we go to the break, I'll, I'll put them on properly. So I'll take these ones off okay. and replace them with my no pants. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> See, it's a good marketing plan. It's I need no pants. Yeah. I want no pants. But you might have what do you wear? I'm not. I, I'm wearing. I no pants. I love no I'm pants. Wearing no I'm pants. wearing no pants. <laughs> now, you, hey, do you find? But sorry, I just lovingly touched your lacy hand. I hope that's okay. That's fine. Do you do you find that people like when you go to certain countries that they are a bit prudish about what you wear and, and things like that? No, I find they like it when I wear no pants. <laughs> I, I heard your latest clip was banned in our own country. It's true. Now, why was that? They made me recut my music video. Oh, who was that? Was that here? It was like the video hits? I people? don't know the the video censoring gods. That's of probably Hado. Hado, you work on video hits. I worked very hard on that video. Yeah, Hado. And Hado. I think that you they're... work on video hits. Yes, can you get can you get Gaga's clip back on, please? Yes, I can. I can do that for you. I think that we should, yes. Good. There's this amazing montage and I'm in between these two guys and it's like this amazing graffiti subway body art. Are they NRL footballers? <laughs> I suppose then it would get played, wouldn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Hey Gaga, are you ready for your final five? For now? So though we're at the final five, you will be sticking around and then to perform for us later on. Yes, so I can't wait. But the tip of the iceberg. Number five, what's the weirdest thing you've autographed? A penis. <laughs> hey, Mish! <laughs> where, where did you... Where did you well, I know where on the body, but... It how, wasn't his. Where, what, how did that happen? You didn't need to I say was that. at a gay club. <laughs> I remember somebody saying... There's a, there's a quote of somebody going up to someone and saying, can you autograph my penis? And the person goes, no, but I might be able to initial it. <laughs> Is it easier to write on a hard surface? Like when you're... Is it... Does it have to be... You don't want something called a Sharpie going anywhere near it. Number four... Can I, can I just put this up against your back for a moment? <laughs> Number four, what is your pre-show ritual? I like to dance um, in my underwear, which is what you were possibly Thank you. saying. You are welcome. And I throw glitter. Number three, this is a multiple choice question. If you were a man, would you be called A, Mr. Gaga, B, Sir Gaga, or C, Dude Gaga? None. I would be called Lady Gaga. Still <laughs> mysterious. Number two, would you ever perform without a fog machine? No. <laughs> Number no. one, uh, finally, your, your visual question. What's the first thing you think of when you see this? <laughs> I think that Spider-Man had sex with one of Freddie Mercury's fat bottom girls. <laughs> Can you come back every week? Yes. Can you just come be on the show every week? Yes, thank you. Oh, she will be sticking around. But it also Lady comments. Gaga currently touring with the Pussycat Dolls. Check our website for details and she'll be back to play for us later, later on Lady Gaga. Thank you. <laughs> can you do a bit of the reject for recession dance? Oh, that's it. Can we can we cue up the the track so I can get in the, into the zone? Can we great? <laughs> can we get a pair of socks to set? <laughs> can we? Have we got it there? Because that would really get me into. Ready? I'll, st I'll start it off. And if they could, if the dancers just want to kick in whenever they want, anytime, anytime, dancers. It's getting too long. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the reject the recession dances, Lady Gaga? I you... do, and actually the pants kind of go with the rejection. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
All right, we're going to take a break when we come back. Lady Gaga to perform for us. <laughs> and we'll tell you what we've learned. <laughs> 